King Charles and Queen Camilla have finally confirmed the grand move of Buckingham Palace. His Majesty King Charles III and his wife, Queen Camilla, have confirmed that they are leaving their home of twenty years, Clarence House, and moving into Buckingham Palace. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so you don't miss anything about the British royal family. With the release of the palace's annual Sovereign Grant report, officials have also outlined future home plans for the monarch, making it clear that their majesties will not move into the Grand Palace until 2027. They will move in when the works are completed on their own flats in four years' time. The apartments are located in the northern wing of the palace, which will not be finished until the end of the massive ten-year renovation. The building's infrastructure is in dire need of a comprehensive overhaul to prevent long-term damage to the building and its contents, the royal family stated on their website. The most cost-effective way to replace these essential services, and to ensure that the mansion is fit for purpose over the next 50 years, is to carry out a phased program of works over 10 years. The £369 million project began when Queen Elizabeth II was alive, and now her son Charles is overseeing it. Ever the environmental warrior, King ensures that renovations are fit to outfit the mansion for the future, even turning down heating in the house in an effort to help cut costs and emissions. When the monarch moves into the 775-room palace, it will likely be a bittersweet moment as his current home holds many memories because the Great I listed building was home to his great-grandmother, the Queen Mother, for 50 years, until she passed away in 2002. It is unclear whether Charles would still keep Clarence House as a secondary place of residence or whether he would allow some other family members to reside there. In addition to choosing between London properties, the King owns a range of homes across the country. He has a retreat in his country Highgrove House where he likes to spend his weekends and is very fond of the garden in the residence. In 2019, the King celebrated 25 years, since he opened the Royal Gardens to the public, sharing photos of the glorious space. When Charles first moved to Highgrove it was said to have little more than a neglected kitchen garden, a few hollow oaks and some paddocks, but under his watchful eye it had been transformed beyond recognition and now receives around 37,000 visitors a year. It consists of various outdoor rooms with walkways of gorgeous flowers and trees. Thanks for watching till the end.